Libra placements, welcome to Ascending Spiritually. So this is going to be for December 2nd through the 15th. Um, I just got like this jolt of energy. So you guys are going to have a great first half of December. This is general, which means not all the messages are going to resonate. Information on personals will be in the description box below. And I do have my manifestation oils for sale. I'm going to post um, those two giveaways at some point by the end of this month. I have my money and abundance oil, which I put this on and I swear I'll just make money out of nowhere. Like literally just out of nowhere. We have one for love and abundance. Um, platonic and romantic relationships or if you just want to use that towards yourself and i also have one for protection this one helped me even with officials like i was surrounded by cops because i was in this like predicament and they ended up harassing everybody else but me it was so weird it was like they couldn't even see me it was weird and then you also have your spiritual dna oil which helps enhance any of your spiritual gifts they're made with essential oils um crystals herbs and i charge them within the lunar eclipse and the full moon, so those are extremely powerful. I'm going to actually put some of this on. All you need is two drops. Rub it all over yourself, and it instantly works. It has great reviews, so feel free to check that out. And trust me, that stuff works. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Libras, what do you guys need to know? We have the strength card in reverse. Wow, the knight of wands in reverse. The sun card. Seven of swords. The Emperor in Reverse, this is weird, the Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and the Star. Let me see, is this male or female? Female. Interesting. Okay, so you're kind of stuck in a predicament. Your ex is now getting exposed. Their tactics that they've done with you, it's like time has now, there's been distance between you and this ex breaking up and people have been watching how you've been elevating since you left this person and they've been descending ever since you guys split apart so now it's like the truth is coming to light and things that this person was doing behind your back this knight of wands who's a very flighty energy very hot-headed um prone to tantrums and maybe even prone to getting violent this is the type of person who is loose with their sexual energy they see someone who's attractive like they don't even know how to control themselves and they're not really the best person to commit to or even build something stable with because as quick as they come in will be as quick as they flee. This person is looking at the strength card in reverse. They're now realizing that they're a coward in some way. When this person was dealing with you, they were very arrogant. Their ego was overinflated due to like a lot of yes men and flying monkeys around this person feeding onto their antics. But now everything has come to light. Everyone's tactics have been exposed. People are now hiding um, trying to ghost, maybe even trying to deactivate all of their social media accounts because um, they're going through some form of judgment right now. And any lies or deception, especially if you were stolen from, whether it was your love that was stolen from you, someone that was coming in with just the intention of taking sex and really um, lying and being deceptive while doing that. All of those actions are coming full circle and this person's having to answer to the things that they did to you and it's shameful it's this is also like public humiliation or degradation in some way this person is being questioned by everyone that they told lies about to you so in the it was funny in the past right when they were laughing about the things that they did the heartbreak that they caused you they were gaining clout and they were also getting some form of like crowd to follow into whatever antics that they were putting out right but this group did not expect to be exposed and there was some form of whistleblower that let everything someone let everything out there was someone that was an ally to you behind the scenes someone that was within this knight of wands circle and they were waiting until the right moment to let this truth out and it's calling it's causing full-blown chaos so you may not see what's going on behind the scenes but you can energetically feel like something's off or people are talking about you or just feeling extra drained or tired just make sure you cleanse your energy as that's happening now let's get to the bottom because this is a whole other mess here there's someone that loves you or someone that you just met or that's about to come into your life and this will be someone who's stable and grounded however this man or woman does have armor so this lets me know that this person has been hurt betrayed stabbed in the back similar to you but you're a lot more open than this knight of pentacles is and i'm not saying that you should just cross this person out of your list it's gonna take a bit of work to get to you know their heart but this is someone who will love you forever it's the type of man or woman who commits to one person and once they make that decision to commit even though it may take a while 
it's that once in a lifetime type of love and this person they're going to see you or you're going to heal them with your energy somehow there's an encounter that will be brought together by the divine between you and the sign of pentacles and it's going to lead to victory it's going to lead to success this may be um kind of like a long distance relationship for like 20 percent of you others of you this is just a connection that will be slow to progress but they will never make you feel unwanted um this is just someone who may be surface level with you for a couple of months until they can see that the coast is clear like oh the libra placement won't hurt me or vice versa depending on how this will resonate the only problem is despite all this love and all this healing healing that's going to happen due to this relationship not only is it going to trigger your past ex it's going to trigger this knight of pentacles exes as well so let's say you have children and this is a child's father that was toxic towards you once they find out you have someone new or like it's actually truly revealed because in this person's mind it was like oh you guys broke up but there was still the possibility of getting back together or reconciling and they just had to kind of wait it out until you weren't mad or pissed anymore and they in their mind it was like oh i'll wait it out four or five six years however long it takes it was safe for them when you were single or when you just you didn't have anything substantial but once they find out that you have someone new who is grounded and who has this big pinnacle or coin to share with you oh they're gonna lose their mind they're gonna up all of their tactics and then you have this past ex this Knight of Pentacles has an ex who knows that they just lost a gem, who knows that this Knight of Pentacles is someone who's valuable. This may be the type of person who's so hardworking and they stick things through the end that they may even end, end up on like the Forbes most successful list. Like I'm getting heavy entrepreneur emperor vibes off of this Knight of Pentacles. They're just not showing up that way at first, clearly because they're coming in with their guard up. And they have a toxic controlling ex. This is an emperor in reverse their ex is completely narcissistic like full-on crazy yeah it's one thing to be in the knight of wands energy where you still have wiggle room to grow and you know change your characteristics their ex this is how they're going to be for the rest of their life completely toxic and evil this may have been someone who was evil as a child or they you know showed signs of just being not morally sound as a child and those behaviors were ingrained in them through their parents and it continued on to adulthood and now they're realizing that they no longer have a grip on this knight of pentacles because this knight of pentacles once they meet you they're going to drop any other options or any other emotional ties that they had to the past and it's just going to be you and them it's going to be a singular relationship something monogamous where you two see eye to eye where nothing can come in between the both of you and this ex is energetically picking up on it, whether because of changes in behavioral patterns, whether because this Queen of Wands does magic and she reads tarot and she has access to divination just like us and she can get that insight just like we can. But someone's in their head because they're realizing that they don't have control. You also have to remember, like, this is a holiday time. Once people start acting different or things are going to be very clear, people are going to know which side they're on. Especially because if you love someone and you think that you guys are on good terms and the relationship is going somewhere, but you're not with them for Christmas, New Year's, or any of those major holidays, oh, trust and believe things are getting exposed one way or another. And you're completely single, mind your own business, away from this chaos. That's the best thing. And you're getting recognition. You're feeling successful. You guys are happy. It may be the first time where you're actually happy and content. Yes, you may not be in the exact spot where you'd like to be in life. But what real complaints do you really have? You have a roof over your head, clean water, clothing, you're healthy. You know, you have internet, you have Wi-Fi, you're doing better than 70% of people within, you know, just this entire planet. You're doing great. Wake up with gratitude every day. Thank yourself and your guides and God for the things that you have earned and the things that you brought into your life. Because you're, you're a lot more blessed than you even consider. Because all this stuff can be taken away from you in the snap of a finger. So enjoy it while you can. We have three of wands, which is all about uh, focusing on the future and getting success and recognition. So this past person who was selfish towards you, they went out of their way to completely just dishonor you and break you down. This was the type of man or woman who knew your value, but they had to like play reverse psychology and make it feel like you're the person that has to fight for them 
and they're going to end up needing you in the future. And this is how the tables are going to turn. So the person who deserted you and burnt bridges because they thought they'd never have to return will have to come to you in order to cross some sort of path or boundary. And by the time you re they return, by the time they, type, they try to come back, you're already going to be in a partnership with someone who's going to love you dearly. And this Knight of Pentacles will be someone who you start off as friends with. And not like friends with benefits. You're not going to be quick to get into bed with this person. They're going to be very res respectful towards you. They will want to court you the right way. And with the Two of Cups, this is going to be a very unshakable union. Nothing will be able to get in, in between this connection. Not family members, not friends, not circumstances. This is going to be a divinely guided union. Oh my God. And as soon as I said that, the lovers. Two of Cups and the lovers and the sun in one spread. Yeah. Yeah. You're about to get some major love in your life. Or this could be even be a best friend that ends up being like a lifetime friend or someone who is in your circle and rides beside you for your entire life. That's a big deal because good people are not easy to come across these days. And you'll have to make a decision. Look, this is a woman. She's going to have to decide between the emperor, right? Or the knight of wands. And that's crazy because if you look at these cards... The Knight of Pentacles, he kind of has a goatee. The Emperor has beard, a beard with the goatee here as well, right? And the Knight of Wands looks kind of younger in the face. And he doesn't have facial, really much facial hair in comparison to the Emperor. So the, one will be more mature than the other. One person is going to come in and trump the relationship. And so you and this ex will be forever like split apart. Even if this was someone that was supposed to be your twin, they were supposed to be your life partner. They made the decision to sacrifice their, the relationship for other things. That doesn't mean that you're going to be lonely or that you're going to, you know, just be left alone, even though you've completed this journey. You know, someone else who's done the work is going to be put in their place. And this is the judgment that the divine is doing because some of you have been wishing upon a star. You're like, I want my person. I'm sick of getting my heart broken. I'm sick of putting myself out there, choosing these karmics, constantly falling for people that just disappoint me, break my heart, ghost me, juggle me, and you're going to have a decision to make that's not going to be a decision at all because you will already be committed to whoever the sign of pentacles is. And they're actually a king. They're a king of pentacles and the emperor combined. So this will be somebody who's very grounded, very stable, very mature. They will support your hobbies. They will support getting into business with you. This will not be someone who will be um, jealous of you. It will be a very, it's like a comfortable yet very passionate relationship. And the sex life between you and this person is going to be like out of this world. And I don't know why they made me mention that, but that's just what I'm being told. So Libra, let's take a look and see what do you need to know about December 2nd through the 15th. Ace of Cups, man. You can't make this stuff up. The more that you love yourself, you've been loving yourself for the last like two, three years. Really just trying to put effort, time, and dedication into being a better person or just not being codependent towards other people. And if this has made you actually be independent, some of you hyper independent to the point where you may even have a hard time asking for help. Um, but just know there are people that are trustworthy despite your experiences. Not everyone is the same. So we have Ace of Cups. The more that you love yourself, the more opportunities that you bring in, the more options that you have available. We also have the Queen of Pentacles here. So the King of Pentacles was what was on the last spread. In this spread, it's the Queen of Pentacles and you have this giant coin and you're sitting on a throne just like how your counterpart was. So let's keep going because there's a lot of mirroring going, going on right now. Death, King of Cups, Five of Cups, ooh, man, oh man, that sucks. Six of Wands, the High Priestess, the Hermit Energy, and the Lovers. Clarify the Lovers. Four of Wands on the Lovers. Dude, this is insane. Your past person is going to be forever changed. Your past ex is going to be forever changed. You're going to be the one that got away. They will never have access to you again. They're going to have to watch as you're loved properly the way that they should have loved you. And this person knew the whole time that they loved you. They just had to go prove it to themselves that they could get more people, that they still had options. This person didn't want to be in love. Because they associated love with pain due to past experiences and they projected that onto you. And it cost them 
their destiny. They've now altered their path in a major way because you were supposed to be this person's life partner. They threw you away. They discarded you like you didn't matter. And that was fine because at the time, yes, it was painful, but the divine was like guiding you and shielding you from this person's antics because it seems like they're hijacked. There's something about this King of Cups where there's times where they don't have control over their body, um, which is why at times they can be really nice to you. And then they just like, like this switch all of a sudden and they're going to live with this regret for the rest of their life. You remember how many tears you cried because of this person? They're going to be crying double double because they're going to be living this life of almost like being somber and feeling alone even while being surrounded by people because you were this person's only path to genuine love within this lifetime and they threw you away and because of how they discarded you the divine's not going to throw you know more divine people to someone like this no they've actually descended within their rank meanwhile you become successful you start to have the recognition that you deserve because you're not being like hogged down by this person that was jealous of you all along this ex was jealous of you they were jealous of your light how people loved you cared for you the type of attention that you would get so they they vowed to like break you down in some weird twisted way so that you'd feel like you couldn't get anything better than them instead of just leveling up and meeting you to your standard it's very just bizarre if you ask me but with hermit you had to go through a level of self-reflection self you had to go through this period of like isolation as well this may have even gone for up to a couple years and you may be wondering like why is it that I don't have like a lot of friends or why is it that most people have like these groups that they can go out with and it's kind of just me alone by myself like is there something wrong with me and no that's not the case at all you're actually surrounded by a bunch of shady conniving underhanded people and you being kept away is the divine's way of also keeping you protected because as a high priestess you have a very unique energetic signature where you can see people for who they are your third eye is wide open you can see through people's lies and illusions this is why at times you don't get invited places because they know if the libra place placement opens their mouth and tells the truth it's going to blow up our whole timeline people are fully aware of that because you you do this just by being your authentic self just by speaking your mind it causes shifts in people's perceptions and paradigms and it forces them to look within and to reevaluate their own standards and behavioral patterns and we're we're ending this with the lovers and the four of wands which is like two people that are falling in love could even be a wedding or you getting a home or finally having something stable in your life after a period of just like constant things one after the other after the other 2023 is going to be a very unique one of the happiest years of your life is what i'm seeing and there's going to be someone who's, who will be sent to you who will be divinely guided this is you you're looking up at the divine right and this man is looking up at the woman he's just like enchanted by her this person is going to love you so much they will not see anybody else but you this is like that once in a lifetime type of love that most people seek very little people within this lifetime end up actually getting the chance to experience it and you get to experience it some of you may already be in this relationship now or it's slowly forming or turning into something that's stable and what you're being asked is to take a risk take a risk away from this player who yes they may be physically attractive and they may be good in bed but maybe that's all they have going for them this person is completely toxic they could be into you one day and then the next they're into someone else. Their emotions are fleeting. Um, they don't necessarily know what they want at this time and they're missing an opportunity. And this person is realizing that they're realizing that they messed up with the wrong one. If there was someone that this ex should have not burned the bridge with, it was you. They should have treated all these other birds that way. But no, they did it to the person that was supposed to be the love of their life. And they're actually having this realization after getting dogged out. This ex has been getting dogged out by all of their options. They've been dating at least four people since you guys split apart. And each person stabbed this person in the back in an excruciating type of way. Getting used for their money. Finding out that someone's cheating on you. Like literally walking in on it. Um, yeah, so <laughs> trust and believe. They've been getting their karma in roundabout ways. You're just not really there to experience it or see it. Because you're progressing and focused on your own life. So, last but not least, what do Libra placements need to know? Three of Cups celebrations are coming in for you. Happiness, joy, traveling, movement. 
And the person that left you behind, they're going to be stuck being over emotional, talking about you to their family members, to their friends as you celebrate. They're going to be watching everything that you post in their head, having dreams about you getting loved the right way. No, this person is going to get tormented by their own actions. They thought it was funny. It was funny when you were the one suffering, right? Well, when those tables turn, make sure you keep that same energy and trust and believe they're not going to be keeping that same energy. They're going to be watching you living your life, being content, moving forward without anyone anchoring you down. And there'll also be someone there to support you. Some of you, this is in the form of a lover. This King of Swords will be someone who stands up for you. They will not let other people talk trash about you. This will be someone who will defend you with their life. Because you've been loving yourself, this is what you've been attracting. Someone who inadvertently loved themselves too. So they're going to treat you with, you know, respect and decency. And not give you the experience that this past person did. Because they really did a number on you. They almost like changed your perception of love altogether. You had to learn how to trust people again. You're still in that process right now. But don't worry because this King of Swords, this Emperor energy, this new person coming in who's going to love you. Possibly even your divine counterpart, the one, it'll just naturally flow. You won't even have to really do anything. So let's see. Last but not least, coffin, man. This is what the past person is getting. This may even be a physical death. Not to them, maybe to someone around them. They're going to have to deal with the loss of someone close to them and then not having your emotional support or your love to deal with that. It's going to be, this person's going to be changed after this. Wow. If there was a mother figure that was doing some form of magic towards you, I don't know, mother-in-law, sister-in-law, something, some sort of mother figure. Well, if they were sending you death spells, because if you look at this, this is an entity and it's trying to attack this woman from the inside out. If they were trying to send you death spells and it was attacking you and your health, maybe even your children, yeah. That energy is going to go full circle. You're protected. So that stuff can only like scrape you by. Really, that's it. You're going to be hearing about something from a distance. A message of concern. And you're going to automatically know. You will automatically get that download. This is happening because they tried to do X, Y, and Z to me. This is happening to this person because they sent me something. And it went right back to them. So, wow. Yeah, be careful what you do to people. Because you never know who they're being protected by. And when it comes to this past X... They have, they took some of your funds. This past ex took your funds and your love and your energy and they were feeding it to their other lovers or to their side pieces. And this side piece may have had a house or, you know, some form of like living situation that only came about because they were using your energy. All of that is crumbling down. Anybody that was misusing you energetically, it's all coming crumbling down. I'm telling you with courthouse too. You had to face certain judgment. Maybe this was like through the community or you felt kind of embarrassed because of the things that was going on behind your back that you were unaware of. This was your journey that you had to go through. It was a lot of work for you to build yourself back up. This was hard work and dedication. You cried yourself to sleep many times. But you know what? This made you the privileged lady or the privileged male if you're masculine energy. You are privileged. So from this point forward, your life is not going to be how it was. You've already proved yourself. You've already learned those lessons. You know what those um, red flags and warning signs look like. So as soon as you see someone give you an inclination that they're not to be trusted or that they are not good for you, man, you're going to flee. You're going to flee so fast. That's how I know you've already learned. Everything is going to work out in your favor and you're going to have someone here who's going to love you. Six of Swords, you're moving away from confusion, illusions, lies, deception, conflicts, competition, people in secret competition with you to true love. There's someone who's actually going to love and care for you. And they're going to put in that time, effort, and dedication. And this is someone who's extremely loving. They're such a romantic. And this future person, all they've been doing is looking for someone to love. And everyone that they've tried to love has stabbed them in the back, just like you. And this is why both of you will just value the relationship so much together because you've both experienced the same type of heartbreak and pain and you don't want to cause the other to feel any inclination of that and this is what's being asked of you continue to put in time because three months from now if you haven't met this new person they're definitely coming in by valentine's day for sure so this is the end of your reading like share subscribe leave me a comment and i hope you guys have a good rest of your day bye